considered by many as the greatest American cyclist of all time. World champion twice, the first American to win the Tour de France not once, but three times, including the greatest comeback in sports history. With a lead of 50 seconds, Finian waited for his rival to cross the line. A monumental final time trial stage so many would never forget. Putting every last ounce of strength, Greg LeMond crossed the line in Paris, gasping, unknowing, sensing something great. LeMond, with his aerodynamic knowledge, courage and sheer power, had wiped 50 seconds clear and gained 8 seconds to win the unforgettable 1989 Tour de France. And we have an actual Greg LeMond team bike on the stand to love and restore and share with you. The frame is in Z Team colours, made from Columbus TL OS oversized tubing, which has caused a lot of confusion. The frames were traditionally made using TSX tubing. The bike, done in these Z Team colours, holds a very special place in my heart. That 1989 Tour de France tour was very special indeed. It was probably the reason why I got into cycling in the first place. I remember well a stage between Robert Miller, now Pippa, and Pedro Delgado battling it out up in the mountains for Pippa to actually take Pedro Delgado on the very last corner and win the stage. Them Z Team colours, I actually had one of them jerseys back in the day and I think I've even got a picture of me wearing one of them. Um, so yes, this is the bike. How did we get it? Well, it's actually a viewer's bike called Tommy. His father unfortunately passed away and left him a few bikes, this being one of them, which is an actual team bicycle. So unfortunately, we couldn't ask uh, exactly where he got the bike from. However, we have been in touch with the man himself, Greg LeMond. So we put this on social media and I've also sent a message and can you believe it, he's actually got back to me. So this is what he said. Hi Andy, I am not familiar with the card mount, the card mount being the race card mount here, regards to the number, okay, but I do know that the bike is authentic. We outsourced our bikes with Bellato of Italy. It was a very well made frame. I hope this helps, Greg. Wow. Greg himself, well, he actually introduced the Oakley eye shades as well to the Tour de France. Oakley was struggling to actually break into the cycling world and look at how big they are now. I've actually got a pair of the original eye shades here. Original and probably still the best. Absolutely love these. So thanks Greg for that and thanks for this beautiful bike. Let's delve straight in and have a deeper look regards to the bike itself. It's full Campagnolo all the way through. Rear mech here, that all looks in good order. The crank itself, well, that's a little bit loose and definitely does need some attention. We've got these Campan C Record Delta calipers, very beautiful and artistic. Not too good at stopping, but they are absolutely stunning and very iconic indeed. Seat post, well, I'm happy to say, um, well, that's not seized and we've got this Regal saddle, which definitely does need replacing with a exact same saddle. It's torn here at the back, so yes, yeah, so we'll be looking at replacing that. We've also got these Edro levers here, these Campag uh, Record levers. Um, now, I do know that they are 1992, so they were introduced in 1992 and this bike in the time would have been cutting edge. Um, so yes, we put the bike 1992, absolutely beautiful. It's gonna need some new handlebar tape. It's got a nice Sinelli handlebar stem and uh, we've got Campagnolo uh, rims. We've got a blue TA water bottle cage. Now I do know that they definitely use them. Um, and we've also got some luck uh, pedals. Now use, they used to use the white and red tine pedals. So maybe we'll look at trying to find some of them. But before we can get down deep and give this bike some proper love and cleaning, uh, we generally strip these bikes down. So what are we waiting for? Let's crack on and get a move on with that. Well, there's the bike all stripped down. 
At first I was reluctant about stripping an actual team bike down, however I'm really glad that we have. It does need some care and attention. The forks themselves, well they were becoming uh, very stiff and the reason for that as we stripped them down we've got a lot of corrosion actually on here. Just a rub down should be fine, it should be good to go, uh, but it does need that care and love um, given to such a beautiful bicycle. So really happy that we've uh, stripped the bike down. We've got a ball down here, most of the parts we've placed down in there, and this clamp is loose, it's not on at tight, so don't be alarmed. Um, we've got the calipers all there ready to go, uh, they need cleaning up, and the bottom bracket was quite unusual as well, that was like a sleeve that fitted over, loving this, and uh, yes, loads to clean, few parts to buy, so let's get a move on with that. set's done they've cleaned up great they sound fantastic and we've got some Victoria gum wall tires on there so I can't wait to get rolling on these the frame well that's all dressed if you've noticed we've got a race car now fitted we weren't too sure which rider had the frame so I couldn't resist but to celebrate the Greg Lamont name by putting the number one on there We've also changed the water bottle cage, the original one, the plastic, weather bolts, that had actually gone, so it's coming away from the frame. So I had to replace that, and I've managed to locate an original pink anodized TA water bottle, which the team used. So very happy indeed with that find, and we've fitted the headset and also the bottom bracket. So the frame's all ready to go. We've got the group set, as we generally do, that's on the side, it's all degreased, just needs a bit of polishing, and I've also got some Scott's handlebars. These were very controversial in the time, uh, which actually came all the way around here for on the drops to get that more aerodynamic. However, I've decided to stick with the original handlebars that were on the bike, they are original, and I do also have a couple of other Greg LeMond frames that we're going to build up. So I'm gonna save them for them frames. Um, but yes, just wanted to share them with you. We do have them, but we're gonna save, uh, save it for a different build. Loads to be getting on with. I've got an all important water bottle to find and some time pedals, and a bar surat and a bit of polishing. So let's get a move on with that. Well, we are finally here, and this is one bicycle I am very excited to build and ride, so hang around for that. Where are we up to? Well, we've got the handlebars all wrapped, they're all ready to go, the frames dressed and the group sets on the side, as we generally do there. And we've also measured the chain up, we've used the old chain to get the exact same length. Um, so we've got a brand new chain ready to go, and we've found a brand spanking new matching saddle so we've just replaced the saddle it's brand spanking new so very happy with that 
and we've got the icing on the cake which is that all important water bottle but you're going to have to wait until after the build for that one so we've got everything ready to go we've got some delta brakes to install as well sometimes they're quite difficult to do but yes what are we waiting for let's crack on and get this bike built back together Wow, well, I am lost for words. Absolutely speechless. It looks stunning. Really, really happy with the result of this. The Delta brakes, yes, they are extremely fiddly, but beautiful all the same. Um, the bike went together like a dream. So really happy with the results of the build itself. It looks absolutely stunning. I can't take my eyes off it. Uh, I did say we we're gonna finish the build off with a water bottle as we always do. And it's an extra special one. I've managed to locate an actual team water bottle with a pink at the top. So I've done a lot of research. It has cost me a bit of money, but I feel as though it's worth it. It definitely is the icing on the cake. So let's pop it in, have a look. Well, that really is the finishing touch on this build. It looks beautiful. And I did say we're gonna get this bike out and have our eye, but before we do so, I really feel as though we need to get changed. Brilliant. Well, I certainly do feel the part now. We've got the matching mitts to go with the kits, all available on our website at bikeituk.club. Give it a visit, but hang around, cause it's time to get this bike out and try it out. Well, I hope that these videos give you some inspiration to chase that childhood dream bike. This certainly has been one of mine. Absolutely stunning. Loving the colours, especially with this kit. Really, I'm feeling the part and as if it was back in the day. So yes, that is absolutely priceless. This bike is priceless. It's absolutely stunning. Really happy that I've managed to get hold of it. Share it with you guys. And uh, yes, really I'm enjoying it. It's put a massive, massive smile on my face. If you do enjoy watching these videos, I always say, then please like, share and subscribe. Other than that, then why not visit our website at bikeituk.club. On there you'll find lots of historic vintage road bike brochures, some vintage kits and also the mitts to go with the kits. Thanks so much for watching and uh, take care. Bye for now.